question about human nature because actually I think human beings are basically sweet and loving and cooperative. It is my experience that that is actually what human beings are entitled to, that is our birthright. And you know who, you know why I think that? Because you, Americans are the most tested group of human beings that have ever existed on planet Earth. And you know, the reality is that social scientists test us in order to give that information to big corporations so they can say, how do people think? What do they care about? What do they want? What, is, what are they thinking about? And do you know what that information says, more or less? What people want, or as like my niece has taught me how to say, what, they, what we really, really want? What we really, really want, what we really, really want is community. What we really want is meaningful, productive work for which we will be applauded and acknowledged. We want stats. We do seem to want a fair amount of sex, as, as hairless apes and primates. But by that, what we want is to be attractive to, uh, to either men or women. You know, we, we, want, you know we, want, we want sexual compatibility so that we can, uh, we can have fun and play together, and that definitely includes some sex. But it also more deeply, uh, it's true. But, when, but actually, the other thing that we really want is community. We want connection. And what I think is particularly evil about this culture and this ruling elite is they say, let's take that information and then say, now, how can we take that and let's get the magicians of our culture, the real alchemists, you know, the artists, and say, devise 30-second spots to shroud them in confusion and say, in order to get what you want, you need to buy some crap. And then, like, oh, hold on, let me finish. I'll let you go back. So the point is, I believe that actually this uh, society never actually gives us what we really want, and it creates a kind of crack cotan addiction around materialism and just getting ever more stuff, and we end up destroying the planet, uh, and we never end up being happy. So I actually think that human nature, if we conduct, conduct social institutions that actually, like, can we actually have a politician? Actually, there was one that I can think of recently that would actually say, we need to start talking about love in politics. Dennis Kucinich. We need to start actually talking about compassion and fairness, and that, like, that we want social institutions that do that. Sadly, most of the time, if anybody talks like that, the ruling elite try to make us think that they're weak or that we should make fun of them. Well, I say the hell you say. I think we ought to put those people up on our shoulders and we ought to march them around, and we ought to elect them to office, right? We ought to elect people who talk about love to office. And then lastly, I'll say, as a revolutionary, I'm very clear. I don't want to just take the existing structure and get my hands in positions of power, because you know what? If I were to be elected president, the first thing I would do is to, to, to assemble a fine team of people to begin dismantling as much of the bureaucracy as I possibly could and to devolve power to the local level as much as possible. Like, that's actually what I think evil Morales is doing. And I'll tell you the other thing is, for, like, human beings have been around on this planet more or less as homo sapiens for about 100,000 years. I think that for about 10,000 of those years have we actually been operating under this kind of dominator philosophy. I believe that Rianne Eisler got it right in The Chalice and the Blade when she actually described the first 90,000 years of a kind of goddess-worshipping, earth-centered society where the sacred feminine was not just appreciated but was actually integral to our entire way of thinking and we were mostly cooperators, not dominators. That we were mostly collaborators. And in fact, that I think is human nature itself. So I would say that it's our birthright to do that. So yes, I don't think that today in modern industrial society we're seeing that, but I do believe that utopia is, is possible and that's what I strive for. And if I haven't convinced you, that's okay. I mean, I, I hope you find something to believe in.